What's up, everybody? Brett here, back today playing some more Vampire Survivors. The fans have voted. You guys want to see me use WASD for like an hour, <laughs> which is essentially what this game is. We unlocked, I think at the end of the last episode, we unlocked Poe, who I guess starts with garlic. That's his primary mode of attack, and he uh has a bigger pickup radius. That's pretty sweet. You stack that with the one we already have. So a bonus 50% pickup radius should lead to tons of experience, but low max health shouldn't be a problem. Um, we've died from it a few times, having low health. Uh, but I think in this game, the best defense is a good offense. So let's see how, uh, I keep wanting to call him Pistachio. Poe Racho. Let's see how he plays. And we're going to do the library again, because I feel like we need we have to beat this in order to get to the next uh, level for us to start playing. Although it does say that we've unlocked something. I don't because we killed, I think, one of the last bosses here. Uh, but we didn't finish the stage. So let's try and finish the stage and see if that unlocks anything. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Once again, the music is super crunk. And we almost died right off the bat. Alright. Well, let's try and fix that. Holy crap. That is super duper loud. Let's see. I'm going to mess with OBS for a second here. We're going to lower just a little bit how loud that is. In game. And I'm going to lower how loud that is. There we go. Okay. I think we're good. Get my arrow off the screen. It probably sounded weird for a second there, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Get the WASD working. And this is the first time we've used the bird. I was eager to see how it would play. Man, this this map is super dangerous. So, the dove is basically like, uh, I don't know. He's shooting out like Hellfire missiles. Let's take the magic wand. Jesus Christ is this game loud with no with no value mixer for me to like lower it at all also worth noting give me some food please because I'm gonna die like on the next hit to be fair though those annoying things do a hell of a lot of damage um I don't want like any of these I guess I'll take the heart we can build in some extra HP If I just sit still, will I get kills? It seems sketchy. But maybe the answer is yes. Character gets 10% luckier. That seems pretty cool. But let's just get more projectiles on our magic wand. I think that's going to be one of the goat items for this run. Getting more garlic would also be nice. Getting a bigger area, that way these things don't come quite so close to touching me. We had like a nearly maxed out garlic aura on our last run. Yeah, let's grab the whip. Level 2 whip is so good early. Just face the direction most of the enemies are coming. Try and get in on all this experience. And I'll take the King Bible. More AoE. The Bible plus garlic armor did really well for us in the last video. But yeah, still need some HP. We should probably be just like aggressively looking for chickens. The sentences that this game makes me say are absurd. Alright, a little bit of money bags. I don't know about these green boys. I don't know if they're going to die to my aura. Okay. Oh my god. We got to get Duplicator. Duplicator is MVP. We already have multiple missile type attacks. We take Duplicator every time we find it. Now remember too, we did unlock at the end of the last episode. If you notice, our HP is slowly rising. Uh, we've got like 0.1 HP regen per second. Which, you know, if we don't get hit for 10 minutes, a lot of HP. Alright, Duplicator once again. We take it literally every time. 
Don't know what it looks like maxed out, but... Because everything does seem to have, you know, like a final version. We've only seen like maybe three or four of them so far. Ooh, crosses. Uh, these did great for us last time. Let's try those again. They're also going to come in with the, with the benefit of our double duplicator buff. I see the elite off to the right. I'm just going to kind of clear it up a little bit over here, get some of this XP, and then we're going to move towards the blob. Nice. Okay. Now we up the garlic. I think level 2 garlic is great, just giving us that comfort zone, that 40% increase to area of effect. And I'm watching that bird, too. That bird is doing crazy damage. And right off the bat, we start with a triple, baby. Couldn't find one of those to save our lives in our last two runs. If it goes to a pent, I'll be shocked. Okay. That looks good. That's our level two whip. Excellent. Even though duplicators kind of already taken care of that for us. Um, cooldown reduction on magic wand. Okay, nice. And what is the Bible? Is the Bible just one additional projectile? Yes. Okay. Well, we upped our projectile game significantly. I'm going to take more whip damage. We've got four whips currently. Loving the passive HP region. It's really helping. But you see there, we just ran into enemies. It's still pretty easy for that to happen. Um... Character recovers HP per second. I don't want that. I want to get experience. Something we didn't have last time. And I think we really suffered for it. And I kind of don't want movement speed with garlic. Because the damage doesn't tick that quickly. We're going to take a couple. Every time we get experience early, we're going to take it. I mean, if, if my next two level ups just gave me experience, I would take them. So, what I would like to see is... I was about to say, something that increases my damage, like spinach. I'd like to see something that increases my survivability, like laurel. That gives me, like, a, a shield, perhaps. Get all this. Move back in. Grab all of this. Double spinach so that we just increase all of our damage by 20%. You add that to the 20% we already have from our power-ups. And we're doing great. I see that other elite over there. But let's just grab this massive amount of experience. I'm going to take a third level of crown over a third level of spinach. And then we're going to come over here and try to kill this boss. Don't know what to call them. I'm calling them like champions, elites, bosses. Mini boss, you could call this guy probably. Um, I'll get bigger whips. Alright, not surprised to see a single here. We probably deserve that. After getting so lucky on our first one. And it's a level up to garlic. Not mad at it. Let's see what the level up actually is. Reduce cooldown and increase base damage. Okay. Let's sit still for a second and see if we can survive by doing so. I think the bot... Yeah. Yeah, we've got so much AoE. God, look at that. Alright. And I'll keep jacking up the whip. Which sounds like something <laughs> you would say in like a rap video. Jacking up the whip. You know what I'm talking about. I remember when I was a teenager, me and my friends would ghost ride the whip. Not quite the same thing. When we got our cars, made videos of us ghost riding. Pretty stupid, but also pretty funny. 
I've lost so much of that. That was stuff like I put on MySpace. There's so many good pictures from my teenage years I just don't have. It makes me sad, man. There were pictures out there of me with like really long hair. Pictures of me like really buff. I don't have any of that stuff. I had maybe like 10 pictures from the year between like 13 and 17. Most of them had ex-girlfriends in them and then they were destroyed by future girlfriends slash wives. <laughs> don't, don't ever let anyone destroy pictures of your stuff. Alright, that almost killed us. We haven't found chicken at all. Alright, let's stay away from those things. I see him coming in from the left. Come on, chicken. Still no. The thing is, the dangerous thing is, we, there we go. We can't even afford to take a single hit. Yeah, and we got the chicken, but then we took a hit. Let's see if we can find more. Alright, let's also circle back occasionally because we are passing a lot of experience. I'm going to take... Let's continue increasing our area of effect. There is a power-up that we can get that increases our area of effect even more. Damn, cannot let them touch me. Almost better off sitting completely still. I'm moving very, very slowly. Like, uh... Damn, what's his name from the Marvel movies? Ah, uh, what's his name? Batista, the, the guy Batista plays. I can never remember his name. The one who said, he's like moving so slowly that uh, his movements are imperceptible, therefore he's invisible. What is his name? I love the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, but I cannot remember what it is. Um, do I want the Empty Tome? I don't really want any of these. But cooldown is good. Cooldown is damage increase. Let's kill this bush and hope to get a chest. We didn't, but a ruby will take that. Alright, tons of experience, hell yeah. Very happy we got all that experience boosting early on. Let's get the King's Bible. Augmenting the area attacks could be good. I would love to see... I don't know, man. Some... Give me, like, the Fire Wand or something. Give me something with more damage. More projectiles. Right now, we're just, like, creeping. Okay, I'll take this, although I want the spinach. We're just creeping around, man. Real G's move slow like lasagna. Uh, they're getting everything's getting a little too close for comfort. Our pickup range is great though, thanks to this guy's passive and the upgrade we already got. So we don't really have to get that close. I'm gonna move back. Even more projectiles, huh? I'd love to know what the final form of the magic wand is. So let's cut our way through here. Try to get to this massive deposit. Trying just to have a good ratio of damage to like random passives. Hmm. I guess we increase garlic. Alright, that might drop a chest, so we want to prioritize that. I'll take the King's Bible once again. Come on, chicken, somebody. Alright. Let's kill this horde here. 
Nice. Alright, could really use an upgrade on this one. And by upgrade, I mean sometimes they occasionally split and go to three. But, you know, another another garlic tier. Super curious what the max garlic is. More damage, more area. Not mad at that. We've got space for one more ability. We haven't seen a single extra upgrade for our bird. I forget what the name is. Something with a key. Okay, I'll take that. We'll walk through and just melt the horde. And yeah, tier 2 cross, sure. We've got a lot of them, so having them do real damage would be nice. Okay, we're starting to take a little bit of D. Let's not, let's not do that. The Gorgons are kind of getting too close to me. They almost look like little white lion faces. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Here we go. Magic Wand having piercing is great. That's the type of DPS upgrade we're looking for. Chicken dinner, thank you. Oh, nice. This will kill everything, I think. Yes, and gives us the experience for it. Gotta be careful how fast I move. I'm trying not to go too, too fast. garlic that only really gave me cooldown reduction and perhaps the book would have been better just because it would have reduced the cooldown on everything um, but I'd like to get to max garlic and let's try to kill this elite maybe get a chest thank you And a better whip. Okay. More garlic. Alright, we'll cut back the other way now. I think we probably have a ton of experience back this way we can go grab. I wonder if anyone's mathematically figured out what the best, like, pattern of movement is in this game. We're gonna go with an additional Bible. There's some nerd out there who's like, if you travel in a dodecahedron shape, you'll optimize your gym pickup by 33 percent repeating. And they're probably right. Magic wand, please and thank you. That cross, the crosses are killing it. Can we get a single upgrade for the bird, man? There we go. One more projectile and base area up by 20%. Cool. The phrase Birdman just makes me think of uh, the guy from Hey Arnold. Pigeon, I think he's Pigeon Man. One of the saddest characters ever made for anything. Feel free to Google that scene if you don't know what I'm talking about. Let's upgrade it again. Peach on. Hey Arnold, man, you can't beat that. If you didn't grow up with Hey Arnold, I, I'm not saying I feel sorry for you, but you should definitely go back and, and give it a shot. Try watching it now as an adult. You will not be disappointed.
It's one of those things I could watch now and still laugh. All right, the Bible. I'm watching that bird just like strafe the hell out of everything. All right, all right, getting a little close here, a little danger close. One more projectile. Hell yeah. The bird is like an attack helicopter. <laughs> it's just like, it's killing everything. Okay, they, these guys are nothing. They're a bunch of scrubs. Killing the Medusa is our priority. Gonna stay like a little bit close. I was hugging this area because there's food here. Just in case we get in a bad situation, I can drop down here and heal. I don't want to get too close because of our pickup range. Come on, level me, baby. Alright. This is a good time for us to take the candelabra for increased area. And that's our final upgrade here. Oh, damn. Okay, watch. Well, check this out. All right. Hopefully this doesn't waste my timer. Doesn't seem to. It pauses the game. All right. I'm happy to see that. It looks like... Is that upgrading it? My voice got all high-pitched. Fires with no delay. All right, and that pairs with empty tome. Good to know. So I'm wow, that does so much damage. All right, I'm anticipating that becoming uh, amazing for us. Let's get the spinach. Straight up, ten percent damage. So now it's just a constant stream of magic missiles going at everything nearest to us. And I see the elite, so we're gonna focus it. And it died. Huh. And it's gone. Hilarious episode of South Park where they, they try to, like, play the stock market. And it's gone. Alright, let's... Hmm. Increasing the base area is tempting. So is getting the level 4 crown. Because we still have, like, half the run left. So I will take that. But the other two, I think, were just as good, really. Increasing our cross. Might be worth it. Alright. Let's go get all this juicy experience right here, but not get too close. Once again. Move slowly. Creep, creep, creep. Can the Explody Boys even get close to us? I don't know. Can anything get close to us? If I just stop moving. Has this game evolved to the point where I don't even need to move? Huh. It appears so. It appears it appears our WASD simulator has turned into a hands-off the keyboard simulator. Let's take the base area. Uh, no. Let's see what the if we can get to like a max whip. I don't know if the whip has a pairing that we haven't seen yet. Oh god. Yeah. We're safer when we're sitting still, which is insane. Let's go back and get that food. I don't trust our slow HP recovery to get us there. More damage, please. Thank you. God, that's so much experience. I can't quit you. Is that from Brokeback Mountain? I just can't quit you. I've never seen the movie. Alright. Full HP. Man, even more projectiles? Yes, yes. I'm just going to call the bird Peaches from now on. And Peaches is freaking kicking ass. 
I'm looking at the size of its projectiles. They actually are noticeably bigger. I don't know if that translates to more damage, but it looks more impressive. I'm grabbing these greens over here. I'm gonna circle around that witch and hope that our attacks just kind of kill it. I'm curious how much HP the bosses have, like when they scale. We kind of have an idea of how much HP the enemies have just from how long it takes to kill them. The bird gets maxed out, if possible. There's got to be characters and builds where max HP is like the move. Took a little damage there. I tried to get greedy and walk like really far into them. Not gonna work. Let's go get our our chicken. All right, multiple bosses on the screen. Let's go get this one first. That was fast. That's the one we've been working on for a hot second. And this looks like a new tier of whip. Are there more than one different types of upgrades? A bloody tear or tear. That would tear would make more sense. I didn't see what it did. Will it flash again? Uh, I didn't see what the upgrade was. Oh man. That one was like way too fast. I did not read it. It looks awesome. Huh. Well that sucks. That's gonna bother me. Maybe there's a way to check it out. It looks awesome. So this guy doesn't suffer too much from knockback. I'll take the cross. Alright, let's go get that chest. Please be good. Move slow, move slow. So, bloody tear. I'll happily take that. And is it going to be yet another projectile? Yes. And reduces the cooldown even more. Not scared of these skulls at all. They're not just they're just not gonna make it past our garlic defense. We're level eight there. Maybe the next one will give us I don't know if it's level nine or ten that gives us the big upgrade. We're at level fifty at twenty one minutes twenty seconds. I don't think the levels are going to give us the rare drops. I think only the chest maybe can give us that. I'm going to go for the Bible just because we've never seen an upgraded version of the Bible. Martin Luther would beg to differ. Little Christianity joke for you guys. I see the bat. We're gonna go get the bat, but I want to get this massive wall of experience here first. All right, bat. Drop something real, man. Okay, we take the cross. There we go. And it was a chest. All right. Big money. Nope. Well, it could still be an upgraded version. Let's not count that out. Another crown at this stage is pretty whack. 
Not useless, but not amazing, perhaps. Or maybe it's just what we need and I'm an idiot. Alright, lots of kamikazes coming in, but I think honestly this is one of those moments where we could just sit still. Indeed we can. But then we're not trying to get loot. I'm going to take empty tone. Get those cooldowns reduced. Cross would have been good there too. Come on, chest. Yes. Man, I guess luck is a real stat. Maybe we want to spend some gold afterwards to try and get that. I'll take the cooldown. Pairing with the cooldown that we just got, you know, that's a recent, like, plus 16 cooldown reduction, 16%. We might notice that. Another one. Just have everything going off real fast. The idea is just to make it so that really nothing can touch us. Wow, that was like 100% the bird. Okay, now we're starting to get into the danger zone. And we need to do some movement. These witches aren't going down as easily as we would like. Alright. Let's try and cut through. That is no good. This is definitely when I've noticed the, uh, the difficulty spike happening. Oh, damn. We're gonna keep putting our faith in cooldowns because now we're cornered. And we need our cooldowns as low as possible if we're gonna get out of here. Oh god, here we go. Get me out, get me out, get me out. Oh no. Man, we got like one tap there. Damn. Yeah, that's like the exact time we lost that last time. We unlocked Ebony Wings, that's gotta be the upgrade there. We evolved the whip, we got some bonus gold. And that's it, that's all we unlocked, huh? Hmm. Would have loved to know what bloody tear does. Alright, what we're gonna prioritize is getting a new character, just to experiment. Permanent plus 30% area starts with temporarily reduced cooldown. Weapon cooldown is reduced by 5%. So we've got two characters that we can mess with. Um, I don't know which weapon that these are. Are they going to unlock new weapons for us? Oh, that's the flame wand. Oh, sick. Okay. Let's try that character. We'll go back. See what our power-ups, or what power-ups are available. Hmm. We have 1,300 to play with. Man, all of these are getting so expensive now. Max health, still not bad, if we had to take it. Um, but as you can see there, it didn't really help us. I'm just going to save the cash. Maybe even just go ahead and unlock the next character, Porta. Has the lightning ring? That sounds pretty sick too. Let's let's take this character out, Arca Ladona. And one more time, we're going to try to get the library victory. But we've just got to have more luck and a better build. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we just take the whip, man.
Like, what kind of vampire am I if I don't use a whip? Our biggest problem right now is that our attacks are very slow. But I think once we level, we'll, we'll be fine. Alright, Laurel. Ebony Wings bombards in a... Okay, I gotta know what Ebony Wings is. I wanted Laurel real bad. We'll still see if we can get it. But that seems ridiculous. At level 1, it's already doing big work. Trying to circle back and get this XP, man. Alright. We, uh, we'll take the crown. Early crown's not gonna help us survive or do damage, but may indeed help us level. God, we're so slow. Um, let's get the laurel. Get it now, it'll save us from heartache later. Man, not having garlic feels weird. God, we need double whip. The front and back. So we can cut back through and get all of our experience. Oh, we're so weak, man. Oh, this is terrible. Okay, we've, we've got to have the whip. A movement speed upgrade and our power-ups might be uh, in our future. Some of these characters are very slow. I think they are slower than others. Yeah. Hmm. We've made good use of the knife. I'm gonna keep with the knife. Because I think if we get a chance to do like another projectile build, we'll take that. See if we can get some chicken. Like the whip, it'll help us travel in a forward direction. Man, we're just getting rocked. If we lose here, I mean, that's gonna be the end of the run, man. And the end of the video, probably. Try and stay alive. There we go. Alright, we're back in it just like that. A single level of knife is pretty garbage, I think. Okay. Increase our fire wand. More damage on the fire wand isn't really the problem. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Keep upgrading the fire wand in the hope that it'll pay off bigger eventually. Could really use a duplicator ring. I would take garlic. Even though I think it scales badly in the later stages. Experience. Once again, not going to help us survive. The knife might. Yeah, we're just going to have to bully our way through. We still haven't killed the boss yet. 
I was hoping that was gonna be a chicken dinner, but it turned into a bag of coins. The race is everything in sight, no thank you. Let's just upgrade our knife. Once the knife has piercing and a lot of extra projectiles, that's when it becomes good. Thank you. Alright, we need something. And it's another crown. Okay. Let me send a quick text here. My, uh... Some of my training partners, I've been training like jujitsu every day and I was going to take today off as a break, but I really don't have anything else going on. And one of my partners is like, Hey man, anyone training today? And I'm like, ah, so if they want, I will indeed go and train. Though my body is weary. I trained like hours yesterday. All right, oh God, I want the cross. I want level two ebony wings, but let's get the cross. I want all of that stuff, but we need more varying types of attacks so we can cut through stuff faster. One cross isn't really doing it for us. We could really use a duplicator ring to affect all of our stuff. I'll take the increased knife. I saw the spinach, more damage, but damage isn't the problem. Our stuff all hits pretty hard. We just need more of it. Alright, I'll take the laurel. We want to get to the next few tiers where we get more stacks of it. I think it goes up to three stacks, or at least three is the most that I've seen. Wouldn't be surprised if it has a better version that goes up higher. There we go. Chicken dinner. Boom. Okay, we we certainly cannot sit still on this character. I want to max out Fire Wand, man. Just hit, hit the mummy, please. There we go. That's the kind of big damage we need on him. Get the knives facing him. Great. All right. And the next tier of Fire One. Excellent. And that gives us base damage up by 10 and base speed up. So just the, the speed at which the missiles travel, I guess. Not necessarily the uh, like the cooldown. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. This is something I'd love to share with you guys. Something that just happened, but I can't. <laughs> I, I can't. <laughs> god, I wish I could though. If you guys were like actual friends of mine sitting in my house right now, I'd love to tell you what just happened via my phone. But God, I cannot. I would be embarrassed. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be... Oh God, I wish I could tell you. I, would, I hate it when someone tells you they have a secret and then they can't tell you what the secret is. That's like the most annoying thing in the world. But I, I can't tell you. But it's going to be, like, in the back of my brain for, like, the next 30 minutes until I can respond to it. Okay. Laurel. We're going to buff that again, although I really need the cross. To Everyone's responding right now to the text thread. Dudes that I trained with yesterday are, like, having fun beat each other up. I think they're, uh, they're off of it. Training. There's definitely such a thing as overtraining in anything. And I think I've, I'm borderline overtraining right now, so I need to be careful when I'm rolling today. 
I'm lucky that a lot of the guys I, I trained with, one of them was like a really good wrestler who's got a lot more experience in jiu-jitsu, he's a purple belt, and he showed me a, just a ton of like cool wrestling, grappling stuff yesterday, uh, half Nelsons and uh, I think he called it the Russian, different different like types of arm drags and stuff you can do from standing, really cool stuff. Let's get that experience please. Ah, uh, man, I don't know if I want the crown. Let's let's keep... We've seen the power of the knife for getting us out of bad situations. In past videos, just letting us cut through hordes, continuously move forward. Since we can't sit still, we need to be able to move. And that's kind of what the knife lets us do. We have so few different types of attacks, but we're only level 19. Maybe we're on pace, I don't know. I feel like we need more chests, though. Alright, there goes our shield. Come on, shield. Come back. Come back. That's a high level one. I'm hoping that leads to, very soon, us getting... Whatever the next version of the wand is. The epic version. Oh god, wall. Big wall of guys. Ugh. Move forward, move forward. We gotta just push. I was gonna say, a four candles, surely one of them will heal us. But that's a big note. And we'll just cut back. I just hear staying alive, playing in my head over and over again right now on repeat. Supposedly that's like the rhythm you're supposed to have whenever you're giving someone the Heimlich maneuver. God, we got caught on the table. Is it a Heimlich maneuver or CPR? CPR, CPR. Don't listen to me when it comes to saving lives. Stay moving, left to right, left to right. And we want to stay at the top of the bottom, that way we can potentially take advantage of any candles. And I say that, and there's a bunch of them over here. Yes, give me the chicken dinner. Nice. Alright, this is an important get right here, is the second tier of the laurel. But god, our damage sucks. Our damage sucks so bad. This might be the lowest damage I've had since our first run. And I'm tempted here just to let it end. Yeah. That's alright. We did our best, and guys, that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Brett. Channel's Good Talk Gaming. And as always, y'all, I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.